Making a good scratch project can be quite difficult, and there are many mistakes that people can make. So today, I'll share with you some of the most common ones and how to avoid them as well. The first mistake is having a bad thumbnail. This is the first thing that anyone will see before they even click on your project, and therefore is super important. No matter how good your project is, if you have a bad thumbnail, people won't even click on your project. So how do you make a good thumbnail? Well, the glance test is a great rule of thumb. Make sure that people can understand what your project is about from the thumbnail with just a quick glance. Having too much text or a complicated design can make your thumbnail very difficult to understand quickly, and the potential user is way more likely to click on another project. The second mistake is having unclear instructions. Especially in games that are more unique and have special controls, it's super important to make sure that the user actually understands how to play. And if your game is especially complicated, I would highly recommend having the instructions built into the project itself, so that way they can play in full screen. Also, please avoid text walls. It's very difficult to read or understand, and if the user can't understand how to play quickly enough, they'll probably just go to another project. The third mistake is poor advertising. Now, it's not mandatory to advertise your projects, but it can often be a great idea. But you still have to be careful on how you advertise. For example, going to popular projects and just spamming your project's link is a terrible, terrible way. So how do you advertise effectively? Well, going to studios that allow advertising can be a great idea. Or you can even make a form post in the show and tell section. For more details, check out this video with the card above or the link in the description. The final mistake is bad graphics. Of course, having great gameplay is super important, but the visuals are essential as well. And with just a bit of work, you can make your game look so much better. One great way to get graphics is opengameart.org. But you can obviously make your own in Scratch's costume editor, or even collaborate with other people. The one thing that I would especially recommend avoiding is using the default Scratch assets, as these can make your game look rough and super unprofessional. So there's some mistakes that can ruin your Scratch projects. Did I miss any? Do you have any suggestions? Leave them in the comments. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time.